Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Today I want to show you a great mild fascia release technique using one of these rollers here, my foam roller, and we're going to be hitting the hip flexors, a very tight area on people just because a lot of times we're spending our day sitting down, we get tight so bad muscles in the hips here, we get tight quads, and we just have to show those hip flexors some love every now and then. Um, so what I got here this is your standard foam roller. This is a very light foam roller. It's got a lot of give to it. You don't need anything uh, too hard to start with. Something that has a little give. And this is just real simple to do before you work out. Usually you're foam rolling anyway. But this is a real good way to get into the hip flexors here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get on the side of my hips. I'm pretty much on my butt right now. I'm not on my lower back. There's a little groove I'm going to try to find here. This is the, the crest here of my, uh, my hip, and I don't want to get on the bone of my hip here. So I'm staying right underneath that, and I'm just kind of rolling over. Right here, there's a little groove right underneath the hip, and kind of right on top of your quad. You can see where I am right here. And my hip bone's right here, and I'm right underneath it. And I'm just kind of rolling back and forth, getting to my hips a little bit. And then I roll my body over to get through those hip flexors. Get a little twist of motion going on. Nice general warm up. Just kind of roll out that area, get a little bit loose. Now this isn't much um, tension for me. I need something a little more, uh, it's a little more hard. It gives more force back. This kind of gets absorbed into the ground. It's a very light roller. So that's when you break out something like this, the rumble roller. Got a little less give to it. Got these spikes in here. So I get a little more out of that. So when you're ready to progress to it, bring it to the hips here. And I can turn right over, get to those hip flexors. I spend a little time rolling up and down the area, just like so. And that's pretty much it. A real simple thing to do. Even those hip flexor areas love, usually gets real tight. Coach Bad, BigBenches.com. See you later.